Hey there, comic friends and fiends. Rob here. I've got an unboxing video. Let me grab this thing here. Oh, goodness gracious. It's popping right open, trying to lift it up. PGX. I have two shipments out to them. Uh, a shipment of 20 and a shipment of 30. And they told me they're both ready to ship and they were shipping it. Now, judging from the box here, I'm assuming that this is probably the box of 20. But let's, there's obviously not 50 books in here, but let's take a look here and find out. Um, once again, I'm excited to see, uh, I'm going to grab this camera here, and jerky. Uh, the box is filled with plastic trash. Um, it's a lot of recycling, but there you go. Um, our usual stack of free bags. Hmm. Whew. Big old block. So, yep, yeah, I'm uh, definitely got. Tw this is just a 20, and I'm gonna fast forward to part of this potentially here. And So, this is 20 books, um, mostly fairly recent. There's a couple, um, there's at least one amazing uh, key book in here. We'll take only, but it's still a recent book. Um, we'll take a look at this together here and see what we got. Now, I do know that there was a bunch of these that were pressed. Um, so I expect, and I was teased that there's a bunch of high grade, so I'm excited about that. Um, once again, we see my confounded issue with my biggest complaint with PGX, this issue with their mold. Daniel Peterson assures me that they're working to resolve this, as I've pointed out to him that it's not just me mentioning this on videos. I've seen several other videos, people mentioning this. Um, he claims to be aware of it and, or, well, he, he is aware of it. Uh, he claims to be working to resolve it. So we'll see. All right. So let's take a look at this. Uh, well, as long as I'm here, let me bust open this other set so we can fly through these now. All right. Let's take our first one here. Oops. All right, we have Spider-Gwen number one. This is the uh, first Spider-Gwen in her own title featuring uh, the Vulture. This is the Anka variant and we have a 9.8. Beautiful. Um, I do see here, I don't know if you can tell really in here very well with the glare, uh, it is an angle. This is, can be adjusted a little bit by kind of tapping on them. Apparently, part of the way they seal them in this bag, uh, in order to, and in the plastic being loose a little bit, so that way they don't get Newton ring issues is apparently part of the reasoning for that. So, all right. We have, uh, this is a Mayhew Con variant. Oops. I got to get used to this new screen um, with the lighting the way it is cut down the glare and the fact that my old <laughs> my old video was mirrored and this is not mirrored so what I'm used to moving one way is different than the other anyway so this is a uh, Wolverine New York City Comic-Con 2018 exclusive variant Mike Mayhew cover 9.9 that's sexy. Thanks out to the KRS folks. Actually, it was funny as I ordered this from KRS Comics 
And the first issue I got from them had all kinds of issues on it. I mean, they say that they don't promise 9.8s, and I knew that, but they promised like 9.2s and above, and it had a bunch of wear, and I took some pictures of it, sent them pictures, and they sent me a replacement. So this is the replacement they sent me, 9.9. .9. That is sexy, to say the least. All right, so this one, we have Phoenix Resurrection, The Return of Jean Grey. This is out of a... Um, I think this is out of a mystery box because I don't. Re I know I didn't buy this book directly myself, and we get a nine nine. Beautiful. Look at that. We're killing it. We are killing it, boys. We got. Oh, here it is. Invincible Iron Man number nine. If you don't know what this is, folks, this is the first appearance in armor of Riri Williams. This is the uh, Age of Apocalypse variant. This book is spiked and blown up like crazy. Um, or the Horseman of the Apocalypse variant. First, first full appearance of Riri Williams. Um, I sent when I sent, Now, I sent this shipment in <sighs> April. Back in April. And was due um, to come back to me June 24th, um, and I'm just now getting it in July. They were the, the the shipment is like 30 days late from when the shipment was. Um, they have had some supply issues um, due to COVID and shipments, and everything else. But that right there is awesome sauce um, because, as we know, this book is flipping selling for way too much money happy to take that all right <laughs> this is another book i don't know what the grade is yet so this is the gwen stacy number two there were three variants of this there was the variant with the mask on with the trade mask on with virgin and the mask off here for spider gwen we have 9.8 that is a nice looking book there. That is Frankie's Comics Golden Apples exclusive Virgin Variant Ji Hung Lee cover. Sweet. Some beautiful books in here. That's one thing I will say. There's a lot of really good, beautiful books. All right, what do we have here? Ah, so this is the 1 in 100 Romita Hidden Gem variant i believe it was what it was as i'm looking at my list uh one in 100 incentive yeah john romita senior hidden gem gwen stacy number one nine point eight many times you can get yourself a one in 100 and you can get a nice grade on that that's that's just beautiful there's a lot of gwen stacy and spider gwen in here so here we go. This is our Scorpion Comics exclusive variant, Spider Gwen, number one, 9.8. Woot, look at that. This is actually, so it's, then it's described as Spider Gwen 51. So this is the, not the first series, but this is the following series, but that's fine. Okay, here we have Ghost Spider, number one. So, after the second series or so, here we come in, um, 9.8. Look at that. That is some beautifulness. Yes, it is. Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen. All right. We have a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, it seems. Ah, yes, this is our... Um, uh, Del Auto Virgin variant Spider Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man number one nine point eight beautiful look at that some gorgeous books okay here we go we got ourselves a Peach Momoko Captain Marvel Number 16. 9.9 .9 Peach Momoko. Yes. 
How do you do? How do you do? Look at me, I'm PG. Yes, I am. Sorry, I won't sing. I'm excited. We get some awesome grades here. Okay. Now, again, they did press like 14 of the 20 books here, so. Well, let's see what we get here. <laughs> right? Hell Arisen number three, the first print. Um, first appearance of Punchline. Ready? Give us a drum roll. Oh, 9 4. No. What do we have? Several. Cr I put. Oh, by the way, I had the. Let me see if I can get it in there. You can see uh, the graders notes right there on the back. So we have several creases and slight stress lines on the back cover. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not in very good light, but the back cover is definitely I can see based on what it is. It's got a lot of action there. Stress lines for a book I didn't read. There's some. Hmm. Wow. That is very disappointing. I mean, a nine four is still a good grade, solid grade and all, but. Um, <laughs> well, that just tells me that this is a book then that's going to get cracked open at some point when there's another when there's a signing, and probably get sent to a signing event. Oh well. All right. We have Venomverse number one. This is a KRS exclusive here with Gwen Stacy being venomized, and we have. There we go, back on where we should be there with that 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah, and that's a lot of white in that cover to get. Whew. 9-9, nine, nine, that is sexy. Another Venomverse book, number one variant. This is the uh, Mary Jane variant cover. Uh, this is the Kirkham cover. Nine nine, another one. Look at that. Maybe can I get, can I convert some of these nine nines down to nine eights? Take those point ones and add them to the nine point four. <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, Superior Spider Man, number one. This is the Crane Clayton Crane cover. Here, the Virgin variant. Nine point eight. Okay, here we go. Another Peach Momoko. Spider Woman number one, one in 25. 9.8. Excellent. Oh, here's another big book, potentially. So, Spider Man Noir number one. This one's been doing pretty darn well. Not, it's nowhere in Miles range or something else. Or Spider Gwen Stacy, or, you know, Gwen Stacy range. But, uh, Spider Man Noir, this book's pretty big. Now, I picked this one up from my LCS store, actually. They, during COVID, when things were closed down, they posted up a picture on their website and, uh, had a, had some pricing on some stuff that they were trying to sell some books that came in, uh, when nobody could come into the store and I took a flyer on it. I said, yeah, I'll go ahead and throw it in my inbox. I'll take it. And what do we get? Yes. 9.8. So this is a book I paid 60 bucks for from, uh, my LCS taking that flyer on it. 9.8 puts it in the 400 plus dollar range so I'll take it just like that Riri Williams actually the Riri Williams one that number nine that Iron Man number nine I didn't buy it for me I I paid cover price for that book I bought it for my son at the time he when he was reading comics before he quit and he was in the Iron Man then he gave up on it unfortunately <laughs> that was the cover I had oh this is a beautiful cover here so this this color splash just the uh, this is uh, Spider-Man number one, um, the first appearance of Cadaverous, the death of Mary Jane Watson. Uh, it's like this is um oh the, this is the J.J. Abrams Spider-Man. That's right. So the book he's do J.J. Abrams is doing this is a variant cover, the Mary Jane color splash. 
Comic Mint New York Comic Con 2019 exclusive variant. And 9.8. That is just a gorgeous cover. Who did this cover? This is, uh, oh, Shannon Mayer. Of course. Of course he did. That is just beautiful. All right, another Spider Gwen book. Oh, here we go. Spider Gwen number 25, the Venomized. Um, the origin of Spider Gwen retold is what it says here. And 9.8. Well, I'm going to have to do something about this glare, I tell you. I'm going to have to change, change something up. All right, so this is a J. Scott Campbell book. Oh, another Spider Gwen book. J. Scott Campbell. Um, Spider Gwen number one. Oh, a 9.9. .9. So, we've done really hell on the 9.9s today. Holy cow. Last book Amazing Spider Man 797. This is the Del Auto version variant. 9.8. So, that is good. So, we ended up with. Uh, a bunch of, we had that 194, um, they pressed 14 out of the 20 books, um, taking a quick glance here, let's we'll separate these by grade, let's take a quick, we got another 94 over here, 99, or 98, did they put the number, they didn't. So, hmm. so this time, in the past, I've sent in some of these, uh, my COAs, like for this Captain Marvel, and they've put the count on here. They didn't do that this time. And so that Captain Marvel was one of 600. And um, that Clayton Crane, um, this... This Clayton Crane Superior Spider-Man, that was a one of 750 copies made. And the last one, if I come across it here, is one of our Spider, Spider Gwen books. Or, oh, here it is. So this book here, this Scorpion Comics book, this Ghost Spider book, this is uh, Clayton Crane book was one of 1,000. So, there you are. That's some, some nice looking books. All right, so 9-8, 9-8, 9-8, or 9-9, nine, 9-9, nine, 9-8. Nine, nine, All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've up with six, six nine nines. So, you know, just over 25% of the books we ended up hitting nine nines on after the pressing. So that's beautiful. That's great. We have the situation with the nine four on that hell arisen, which is unfortunate. But, you know, I mean, it's it means it's a still a near mint book, right? So sometimes you just got to get sometimes I think we I just get hung up in the nine eights and nine nines because I've sent in so many modern books. Um where it's really a lot easier to hit nine eights, nine nines and stuff with the modern books, having them pressed and whatnot. Um, that when you don't hit, you just get completely like torn down a little bit. And you know, I'll be honest, I did not look at this book really a lot before I sent it in. I just knew I had, you know, it was like the only copy I had. And I said, well, this is going to be a big book. Let's go ahead and turn it in and see what we do. And I didn't bother to look at it, look it over, and that's on me. Um, not that it's still not a great book to have. All right, cool. So what do you guys think? I'm sure you thought I did pretty good. I'm sure there'll be some people who say, yeah, you see, that's PGX. You get way too many, you know, they, they easy grade, but, you know, whatever. Um, the fact of the matter is I'm not turning around and flipping any of these. These are all just going out of my collection and preserving the art and get excited. Um, we'll see how, what happens when these, uh, the next batch comes, the next batch of 30 books. That one's going to, uh, be pretty cool. Uh, again, a bunch more modern books. And then, um, I'm getting ready to send out another shipment 
uh, to PGX, and this one will be all Silver Age books that I do not expect a single 9.8. <laughs> in fact, I probably don't even expect a 9 in the entire lot of the books I send off. Uh, well, maybe one. Uh, all the rest of it, but, but still, it's going to be... Um, be a nice change of pace there. All right, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm rambling. That tells me it's time to get out of here. Like, subscribe. Uh, fat man, fat stack of comics, fat opinions. Rest, peace out. Thanks.